dear students today we are going to see lesson 1 in geography the earth and the solar system we will see the following topics in the lesson introduction the solar system the sun the planets our planet the earth satellites moon asteroids comets and sum up so let's start have you ever gone out in the night and watched the sky why do some of the stars twinkle why is the sun visible only during the day why do we see the moon increasing and decreasing in size all objects which we see in the sky are called heavenly bodies or celestial bodies the heavenly bodies include the stars planets satellites asteroids comets and meteors our earth is also a heavenly body our sun and all the stars that you see in the night sky belong to a galaxy it is called the milky way galaxy or the akash ganga this galaxy has about 10000 crore stars the solar system the family of the sun is known as the solar system it consists of the sun eight planets about 100 known satellites like the moon and asteroids meteors and comets the solar system is a part of the milky way galaxy it is about 27000 light years away from the center of the milky way galaxy the sun the sun is also a star it looks big as it is very close to the earth the sun is the largest member of the solar system and is located at its center the diameter of the sun is about 109 times greater than the diameter of the earth the sun is the main source of heat and light for all forms of life on earth the planets there are eight planets in the solar system in order of their distance from the sun they are mercury venus earth mars jupiter saturn uranus and neptune the planets are heavenly bodies they do not have their own heat and light all the planets are spherical in shape they move around the sun from west to east our planet the earth the earth is the third planet from the sun and is the fifth largest in the solar system it is the largest among the inner planets the earth is our home it is unique in the solar system its uniqueness is due to the best location with reference to the sun favorable environmental conditions for the origin and survival of various forms of life the rotation of the earth on its axis keeps the extremes of temperature between day and night within tolerable limits a favorable temperature for the existence of life if the heat received from the sun was to increase or decrease by about 10% a large part of the earth would become unfit for living organisms the presence of adequate water in the oceans 
which provides ideal conditions for the origin and evolution of life. The presence of an atmosphere which protects the earth from harmful ultraviolet radiations coming from the sun. When astronauts first saw the earth from space, it looked blue in color due to the presence of water all over it. So the earth is also called the watery planet or the blue planet. Other planets in the solar system. Mercury is named after the messenger of Roman gods. It is closest to the sun. There is a great difference between the day temperature which is about 400 degrees Celsius and the night temperature which is about minus 170 degrees Celsius. It has no moon. Venus is named after the Roman god of love and beauty. It is the second planet from the sun. It is almost the same size as the earth and is known as the earth's twin. The satellites. The word satellite means an attendant or a companion. The moon was the only known satellite in the solar system until 1610. Today, there are more than 100 known satellites in the solar system. Mercury and Venus are the only planets which do not have any known satellite. The satellites move around the planets from west to east. The satellites do not have their own light. They reflect the light of the sun. The moon. The moon is the heavenly body which is closest to the earth. The average distance of the moon from the earth is about 3,84,400 kilometers. Its diameter is about 3,480 kilometers. The moon appears larger and brighter than any other celestial body in the night sky. The reflected light of the sun from the moon reaches the earth's surface in about 1.3 seconds. No life can exist on the moon due to the absence of atmosphere and moisture. There is no sound as there is no air to carry the sound waves. Asteroids Asteroids are small planet-like solid objects found in the solar system. They are also called planetoids or minor planets. Each asteroid follows its own orbit around the sun. The main belt, which has billions of asteroids, lies between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter. This belt stretches from about 250 million to 600 million kilometers from the sun. Comets It is believed that there are about 200 crore comets orbiting the sun. Comets are huge lumps of snow and rocky dust. Each comet follows its own orbit around the sun. When comets reach near the sun, they start glowing and develop a long tail. And now, let us see the sum up of the lesson. The heavenly bodies include stars, planets, satellites, asteroids, comets. The distance between the heavenly bodies in the universe is measured in light years. 
The stars are huge hot bodies of gases which have their own heat and light. The sun is our main source of heat and light. The moon was the only known satellite up to 1610 in the solar system. A comet has a long luminous tail which grows larger as it comes closer to the sun. Hope you have understood today's lesson. That is all for today. Thank you.